anyone's ever seen wild blueberries, look at all these. Alright, we actually just talked to the owner of the, of the Monroe Lake and found out there was nowhere good to camp near there. So we started looking on different crown land areas. And why is this so loose? <laughs> and we found this weather station. Here we are at the weather station. So we're taking a little break at this weather station and it's just loaded with blueberries. If anyone's ever seen wild blueberries, look at all these. They're everywhere. Some of them are huge. Like, look at that cluster. Okay, no sign of bears around here. So they are for real blueberries and not poison? <laughs> After we ate a few handfuls? <laughs> no, they're blueberries. They are, eh? Wow. So I don't know, what do the viewers think? Is this a good spot to camp or should we continue? <laughs> and I bet you this is a prime spot for stargazing, right? That blueberry was a little sandy. Oh, yeah? Yes, and we have an open area. I kind of like it here. Yeah, so we could park here. The only thing I was thinking is if a 4x4 came through here at night, they might not see us, but I don't think anyone will be driving through this. Right? Well, what we'll do is we'll look for the lichen. And we'll set the tent up on the lichen. Yeah. It doesn't seem like there seems to be any around here. No, this is a really rocky and rough area. But it's somewhere around here. I can't believe it. We could pick blueberries and take them home. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Look how many there is. <laughs> and these are big ones. These are tiny blueberries, like the one on Shamanus. These are real size blueberries. Mm -hmm. If they did blueberry picking here to supply the store, it would be easy work. Man, these blueberries are actually delicious. I'm surprised. Yeah, like you can just pick up handfuls of them. So this is a very good blueberry spot. Yeah, it's good. I hope my sister uh, finds out about this spot. Well, first comes to worst, if we didn't find a good camping spot, we found one hell of a blueberry picking spot. <laughs> we did. <laughs> The weather station near Monroe Lake has the best blueberries wild that we've ever tried. Even better than Keminis. Yep, good weather station. Got some blurry parts because uh, we're from Canada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we stopped to smoke a joint and we're enjoying some shade. <laughs> yes. We we're just saying we're in Canada so we can't go topless here. If you're wondering That's why what... I'm blurred out. <laughs> We've got sweet fern here, one of the best things ever. Can I mention other channels? Mm -hmm. If anybody watches Crime Pays But Botany Doesn't, the fellow that does that show loves sweet fern. Yeah. Now I'm still thinking of eating more blueberries, but I don't want to munch back too much on them just in case. <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't know, they look oh, like blueberries. Oh, blueberries make you go to the bathroom. Oh, is that what they do? Blueberries yeah. make you go poo. Yeah. Oh yeah, and for these joints, we got some pre-rolls at the OCS store in Kirkland Lake. And man, is it ever good. <laughs> Limelight yeah. from Edison and Black Cherry Punch from Edison. Yeah. It comes in a variety pack. Five of one kind, five of another. One indica, one sativa. And I think it'll be like 20 something dollars. <laughs> 0.35 of a gram each joint and you get 10 joints. Nice. So you get a half a quarter for 20 something dollars pre-rolled of two different varieties. Yeah, that's a good deal. Three and a half grams. Well, back to how much is a half a quarter or in a quarter. So a quarter is not seven grams, a quarter is 7.5 grams and a half an ounce is 15 grams. Yeah, because of the metric. 
But then, yeah, the world wants to go back to Imperial. I don't know what world. Obviously not the engineering world. Yeah, true. Not the people who work with precision. They don't want to go back to Imperial. It's not precise enough. It's the lazy people that want to, right? I don't know. People are just gotten used to using it. But the metric system is more precise, and then to, you know, convert it's so much easier. You have 100 of something, and then you have 1,000 of something. Yeah. Oh, look at that butterfly. Where? It just went flittering by. Oh, yeah. Camera got it, I bet. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness. Look at this. You can't eat this because it was sitting here, but you, like, one nope. over there you can. Yeah. Maybe this one. It's kind of sandy. Yeah, I'd be worried animals. No, got to it. Sandy. Yeah, the blueberries I tried, I didn't taste any sand. wasn't so bad. Got to be very careful. Okay, so then we're going to smoke another one, right? So that was a sativa. We might as well smoke two sativas in a row. Sure. And then we'll just be mellow for the rest. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I like sativa. It does make me a little tired after a minute. So if I, if I have to go to the bathroom in the bush, a number two, mm -hmm. which is a poo. Yeah, to clarify it. <laughs> I'm going to have to use a bag. Oh, and not leave it in the woods? Yeah, and then cart it back and put it in the toilet. Like, Yeah. Usually what so I do. So number one, when you go into the bathroom and you take care of something, you do a number one, that's taking care of yourself. You look at yourself and make sure you're all right. Mm -hmm. Then you do number two, and that's a poo. And then the number three is a pee. So people try and tell you... That one and two is the only two. Yeah. Three is pee, two is poo, number one is you. Okay. And everybody has to feel that way. Number one is themselves. You know, that's number one. You take care of number one. I remember doing backcountry camping, and they would always tell us to dig a hole and bury the wood. The waste, right? Really? Like I don't if, think they do that anymore. If you take a dump. Well, depending if you had a, the ability to carry it somewhere. Like on the mountain in Nepal, the mountains on Nepal, or whatever, however you pronounce that, yeah. they take their poop in bags and they bring it back down in bags. Yeah, because there's a sacred there, right? They don't want to be taking a dump on a sacred mountain. Not just sacred, it's because it's human waste and it's Oh, I not, think this is almost done, it. Eh? It's human waste and it's not being it's near treated. The filter. Untreated human waste. Be careful. Untreated I'm human I'm putting waste. it out with my finger. No Good. ashes. I saw the right. I saw the. I saw the um, heat green. Alright, should we smoke more joints or? Untreated human waste. Okay. I have to fart. Excuse me. That was, that was a good blueberry. <laughs> yeah, that was a good blueberry for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll only eat those oh, two. Oh, <laughs> that was a stinky fart. Well, it was a fart and not a shirt. What the heck did I eat? What did I eat that is not coming out so well? Too many plants. It was plants. probably something probably like a week and a half ago. I remember we went oh. to that Marigold place. Yeah. And it probably like that stuff was so good and cleansing. And it's going to like, it's like, oh. So, yeah. Different foods cleanse you. And... Spices are great. Yeah, so should we do some walking and then smoke another one after? Oh, I'm going up to the car right. and I'm getting a plastic bag and I'm going to the bathroom. All right. And I can watch <laughs> for bears for you if you want. Hopefully the smell keeps them away. Yeah. They'll be like, that's the smell of human. I'm not going near them. You think so? Well, it can't be either. <laughs> Uh, it's NBA. NBA. Well, so don't mind this. I'm not advertising. <laughs> I'm sure they don't mind. No, so we're just wrapping up the night. It looks like the stars are going to be out probably in, what, a half an hour to an hour. We could get the show of a lifetime with, like, the best meteor shower ever. Or it could just be cloudy and a thunderstorm. I don't care about <laughs> the meteor shower. We're talking about in the distance, the sunset, and how... There's the perception that there's mountains in the background, yeah. but it's not. It's just an atmospheric sort of thing. Yeah. 
It does sort of look like it over there. With my glasses, it even gives it a nice purple tinge. I see the ridge of the trees, and then the ridge of the mountains, and then those are not mountains. And the, like the ridge of the trees, it looks like mountains. Those are not mountains. It's a mirage. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not mountains for real. <laughs> because I've, once before I saw it, the same thing, I was driving down the road, and I'm like, those look like mountains. And then I was like, no, those are just the clouds, and they look like mountains. Yeah. Because I knew where I was then. And although Excuse like, me. I kind of know where I am now, and I know there are no mountains. And we are in the foothills of the Laurentians pretty far. We're like an hour and a half, two hours from the foothills of the Laurentians. So I don't know. Like, and I, North is over that way, and Laurentians, you have to look on your little maps and find out. I don't think that's a mirage of the Laurentians way off in there. Yeah. So if anyone finds this tape and the wolves and bears ate us last night, it was the people at Monroe Lake. They sent us away. Wouldn't give us oh, a place no, to no, stay. No, 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 I'm no. just joking. They went to the Monroe Lake campground area, and they said the crown land starts at kilometer 14 to kilometer 20. And uh, we took a left of somewhere around there. No, the lady that owned Monroe Lake, she was really nice. The only way she could have been nicer is if she had an extra room to stay in but... Yeah. There's no vacancy because you yeah. have to book probably in May to have a room. Yeah, so we don't blame them for that. <laughs> I recommend booking with through the Parks Canada starting 120 days before you want to go somewhere. Find out your provincial park and yeah. Yeah, so who knows if anyone's going to drive I through here at night. Days. If you want to stay in June 18th, you have to book it like starting at the earliest booking date. Yeah. If you want to stay August 18th, it has to be like, I don't know how many days before, but yeah. Now I think it adds to the element of suspense, because we don't get any cell phone service, any text message service, any mobile data. So we're literally stranded. <laughs> if the car breaks down, enjoying we're screwed. <laughs> yeah, we're enjoying the night so far. We're not going anywhere. We're going to stay here and hopefully be able to head out again tomorrow. And not sure what the agenda wow! is tomorrow yet. That we'll have to so figure beautiful. it out. <laughs> No, but thanks everyone today for watching the adventures and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you can like, sub, and share and all that, really appreciate it. Well, smile and hugs to everybody. Beep, beep, beep. beep. <laughs> smile and hugs to everybody. Yep. Look at this beautiful, beautiful <laughs> beach stone. It almost is like we're in an old washed out coulee or something, but I can't imagine that we are because there's a permanent structure here. Yeah. So, who knows? Maybe the ministry guys oh, will come to... Oh, fashion rocks because we could throw <laughs> back and uh, hit ourselves, but yeah. Now the ministry guys might come at night, and we hope no moose come at night, but we might have an update later depending how the night goes. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Hopefully we don't see you <laughs> until next episode. Bye for now. <laughs> oh, now you can really tell that they're clouds instead of a mountain. Yeah. Well, oddly enough, just as we were about to wrap up, we just seen the craziest blue clouds ever come behind those pink and purple ones. So who knows, maybe people have seen those before, but if you know what kind of clouds those we are... Don't know. If the tinges will turn up on the, on the, um... Yeah, the camera. We'll see, but... but there's lavender and pink and Yeah, blue. that's the weirdest so many cloud. different tinges and hues. And it's not just the booze. <laughs> 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 Alright, have a good night. Like, no friggin... <laughs> Later. <laughs>